Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Tech Desk Vlogs Easy Tutorials, and for those of you are the first time on this channel, please consider subscribing and go check out my other videos as well. Also, don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notification of my new videos. First we need to open our Outlook.com email account in a web browser. I have already opened it. Here we need to click on settings. Select view all Outlook settings. At the bottom of the panel that opens. Select mail in the left panel of the settings screen and select the sync email category. Scroll down to the pop and i map section. Choose yes under pop options to let devices and apps use pop. Once POP is enabled, a new question appears that asks whether devices and apps can delete messages from your account. Select Don't Allow if you'd rather Outlook.com keep the messages even after the client downloads them. These are POP, IMAP, SMTP settings, server names and port numbers for Office365.com. Click save at the top of that page to confirm the changes. Setting up Microsoft Outlook 2013. Check manual setup or additional server types and click next. Select POP or IMAP and click Next. Enter your name and email address. Select IMAP as your account type. For incoming mail server IMAP, enter IMAP-mail.outlook.com. For outgoing mail server SMTP, enter SMTP-mail.outlook.com. In logo information enter the email address and password that you created. Click more settings. Select outgoing server and check my outgoing server SMTP requires authentication. Select advanced. For incoming server IMAP enter 993 and select SSL. For outgoing server SMTP enter 25 and select TLS. Try 587 or 465 if it doesn't work. Click OK and then next. Click close. You have now set up your account in Microsoft Outlook 2013. Open Outlook and select File. Click on Account Settings box. Next. You have to follow the same steps as those we have shown in the first part in this video.
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and comment. It would be great to know your opinions about my tutorials. Also, you can make requests for new tutorials. See you soon.